This week we see the Perseid uh, meteor shower. Um, now, the Perseid meteor shower is actually formed or caused by uh, interplanetary dust particles, and these particular interplanetary dust particles, or IDPs, are actually cometary dust. So a comet has moved uh, through space and left its dust behind, and we travel through its dust cloud. Uh, the actual particles are very, very small. They're micron size, so that's uh, a millionth uh, of a meter in size. Now it's it's kind of beginning to get really known that um, that science, scientists are being able to tell that there are organic molecules on comets uh, thanks to some of the research that uh, our Rosetta team in fact at the Open University are taking part in uh, using the instrument Ptolemy and other scientists with other instruments on board the, uh, the Philae lander are being able to show that there are organics also in the atmosphere. So they're being produced um, or, uh, on the parent body, so in other words on the comet or the place where the comet was formed in the solar system. And these organics are being released as we move through the, uh, as we move through the dust cloud and they're entering the Earth's atmosphere. There are other types of uh, meteor shower with different origins. So this one that we're looking at for the Perseids is uh, a comet, as I say. But there was also one in December, and that was uh, caused by a near-Earth object. In fact, it was an asteroid. And this asteroid had left dust particles, and that makes up the Geminid um, uh, meteor shower. As I say, that happens in uh, mid to late, to late December. So all of these different types of, uh, of meteor showers are not quite the same as the kind of meteorites that I study in my, in my research, um, and they're not very big. As I say, they're micron size, so that's a millionth of a meter in size. Now the kind of meteorites that I'm particularly interested in, which links in with the IDPs, the interplanetary dust particles, and the fact that they also contain organic molecules, are these kind of meteorites. These are called uh, carbonaceous chondrites. These are fantastic. These contain every single organic molecule that you need to be able to produce life. Given the right environment and the right conditions and the decent amount of time, you can, in theory, take everything that's in these and produce life. Thank <music> you.